What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out the LH-X41F or the Pioneer. It is a foldable remote tilt adjustable Wi-Fi FPV camera with optical flow sensor. So let's go ahead and open up the box and check it out. All right, so let's take a look at this quadcopter. Looking pretty nice, compact design, foldable arms. However, the props are non-foldable and there is a push button power switch right on the top. And in the front, we got the remote tilt adjustable Wi-Fi FPV camera. Uh, I do believe the quality is 720p. And on the bottom, we have the optical flow sensor camera. And this also doubles as the deputy camera. So you can switch from the frontal camera to the bottom camera view in the Wi-Fi phone app. And the quality, I believe it's 480p on the bottom deputy camera. There is a little ribbon cable sticking out from what looks like it could have been for a DVR, but we have the optical flow sensor instead of the DVR. So you need to record your photos and videos into the Wi-Fi phone app. And there is a Wi-Fi antenna as well. In the back, uh, looks like there's a couple of LED lights on. In the front, this big area here also houses an LED light. And there is the battery bay in the back. And I do have the battery already installed. And taking a look at the battery, it is a 3.7 volt, 1000 milliamp battery, proprietary. Charge it up with the micro USB to USB cable also provided. Supposed to give you a flight time of about eight to nine minutes, I believe. So you can put it back in here, click it into place, and when you are ready, just press the power switch to turn it on. Let's go ahead and open up the arms. Just flip out the ones in the front and it locks into place. But the rear arms, you need to click it down one, two, three, four, just like that. Very similar to the other LH quadcopter that I just done a review on. Very nice, looking pretty nice. So let's go ahead and put this on the box here. Uh, we got a bag of goodies. We got some prop guards. We got a couple of extra props, USB to micro USB cable, a screwdriver, and some landing pods that you can stick onto the motor pods for your landing uh, legs but it already comes with these little protrusions from the body and it lands pretty good so I'm not going to put those on but you are able to put it on let me show you how it looks like it kind of looks like that here little protrusion from each of the motor pods so you can land it and it'll stick that landing all right so there's the bag of goodies and here's the remote control we'll come back to that here's the instruction manual and a Chinese version of the instruction manual and it goes on to show you a diagram of the remote control and all of the functions and also the QR code to download the Wi-Fi phone app and the Wi-Fi phone app is called the H fun app I already have that installed on my device so we're gonna check it out and give it a little demo flight as well all right so that's the instruction manual and here's the remote control very familiar remote control. You can pull this bottom piece out and put your phone on here. It's spring-loaded, but if you're not going to use a phone uh, like me, I'm going to be using my iPad. It serves as a good little finger uh, spot for your hand grip, so it's pretty nice, nice and comfortable. Uh, the antennas fold out, but they are not functional antennas, so you can either fold them out or just leave it fold it in it doesn't really matter on the top we have a shoulder button on the left and that is the speed button I believe the speeds are one two and three on the right we have another button there uh, it doesn't have any functions on that one now this button here is the emergency stop this one is the camera button short press it to take a photo short press it or long press it to take a video I'm not sure if it will work with the Wi-Fi phone app I'm thinking it only works if this was a DVR uh, version of the quadcopter. This button here is to tilt angle the camera up. This one is to tilt angle the camera down. This one is the one key to take off and one key to land. Headless mode button and this, these two I believe they are just trim buttons. Uh, it needed 
two or three AA size batteries. Now both sticks to the bottom and out will arm and disarm the motors as well as throttling up and letting go will arm the motors and throttling all the way down and holding it there will disarm the motors. Now both sticks to the bottom and to the right will calibrate the gyros of this quadcopter. All right, so let's go for a little demo flight with the Lead Honors LH-X41F, the Pioneer. All right, let's get started with the demo flight. The LH-X41F, the Pioneer, holding down the power button. And we got some red LEDs in the rear and green leds inside of that grill in the front place the clock up the right here and power up the remote now check it out the camera just went up and down on the tilt probably to calibrate itself throttle up and down will finalize the binding process so we are good to go so both sticks to the bottom and to the out we'll arm the motors and do that again we'll disarm the motors throttling up and letting go we'll also arm the motors and holding the throttle all the way down this arms the motors all right so we are good to go let me go ahead and start up the phone app on my ipad all right going into the settings the wi-fi section of your settings and there's an m8 720p wi-fi network touch that and it should connect it is an unsecured network wait until the check mark appears and there you go we are connected h fun app and that's how it looks like and we got fpv nice very nice uh, let me go ahead and screen record on this thing okay three two one and screen is recording all right let me go ahead and demonstrate the camera tilt angle up and down so pressing this button here goes all the way up horizon that is nice and all the way down that would be about i would say 35 maybe 40 degrees down and all the way up i'm going to leave it all the way up all right so let's go ahead and take some photos let me see if the photo button works on this hard remote Nope, doesn't look like there's anything going on. Nope, nothing going on there. Let me go ahead and hit the photo button on the phone app. And there you go. We are able to take photos with the phone app, not with the hard remote. Okay, usual round of photos. The video quality looks pretty decent not a whole lot of white let me see the sun we got the black dot in the middle of the sun there and there's a little bit of a latency there there you go and one more photo Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the video icon and there's a counter that appears and the video icon has turned orange with a little square in it. I'm going to go ahead and leave the iPad on this container. So we'll come back to that in a little bit. Let's go ahead and check out the functions and stuff on the quadcopter. So arming the motors, both sticks to the bottom and out and throttling up and down but let's see if the one key to take off and land work so this button over here has three steps so you press it it arms the motors press it again it'll take off and then you press it again it'll land itself right so let's go ahead and check it out arming so it doesn't take off yet until you hit it again and there you go and it has come to a hover 
and this thing has optical flow sensor so it is holding its position check that out let me go ahead and have it lock on my hand here and move my hand around and it'll follow my hand check that out and now it has locked itself to the desert floor and it is holding steady nice very nice let me raise it up in altitude go forward pulling it back there's a slight breeze going that way so it is having a little hard time coming back going to the left going to the right very docile in speed number one let me see the yaw speed here very slow as well all right let me point it towards ourselves and hit the speed button speed number two and there you go that is the speed in speed number two and the yaw speed as well speed number three there you go coming towards me a little bit faster but this thing is not a speed demon at all it has a very slow pitch a very small pitch so it is traversing very slowly there you go there's the speed going with the breeze there's no wind it's just a little breeze maybe a couple miles an hour maybe so far everything is working good all right so that is the speed for you with this one great beginner quad i think all right let's see if the one kilo land works let me go ahead and bring it right here and right above the landing pad optical flow sensor doing its job i think so yeah it is holding position all right so hit the one key to land button and you are still able to direct its path and there you go self landing and the motors turn off nice all right so far everything looks pretty decent uh let me go ahead and arm the motors by throttling up and down and then manually taking off all right push it out a little bit and we have calibrated the gyros facing that way so that is the northbound heading and pulling it back will be the southbound heading i'm going to hit the headless mode button pushing it forward yep pulling it back doesn't matter which way you're facing push it forward and it'll go to the northbound heading pulling it it'll go to the southbound heading going to the right going to the left all right now let's put in a full yaw spin on top of that and look at that it is traversing forward coming back in a full yaw spin so the helens mode works pretty good whoa a little droppage in change of direction there whoa 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 Woohoo! it just hit the ground and it is flipped over oh my god so there's not a lot of power with this quadcopter so I was doing all kinds of yaw spin and pulling it forward, pushing it, pushing it forward, pulling it backward and all that. So this one doesn't have the greatest amount of power in these motors. So you got to be careful with that, especially I was in speed number three. Let me go ahead and calibrate the gyros one more time since it did crash. So you need to place it on a flat level surface and recalibrate the gyros. So there you go. Let me go ahead and arm the motors. Okay, I think there's a little bit of dirt in the motors. I can hear a little bit of uh, noise now. There, there's a little bit of a noise. So when you crash or land in dirt, you will get some particles in, in them gears. So what you need to do then is carry a toothbrush or something and a needle to dig out all that dirt. But perhaps we will get lucky and we will get rid of it just by flying around let me get out of the headless mode it is still in headless mode okay so it is working fine but there is a lack of power as you can see I'm pitching forward and that is my full pitch so that is the power of this quadcopter so very docile quadcopter even in speed number three see that's speed number one speed number three but the optical flow works really well. 
So let go and it will hold position like a GPS quad. Check it out. That is awesome. Nice. There's no flip button or anything. So let's go ahead and check out the Wi-Fi phone app and see if that's still working and recording. Yes, it is. Let me get that glare off of it. There you go. Kind of off of it and it is facing that way so let me go forward full pitch forward yep it is traversing very slowly let me go ahead and yaw and I should be right there coming up and let me go towards myself yeah this thing works pretty good there you go let me level off hey not bad let me turn around Head the opposite direction. Hey, it's traversing pretty fast now. And it's bobbing up and down. I think what it is, is uh, it is fighting its own optical flow sensor. Is what it is. It's trying to lock in. As you can see, it's going up and down. And I got the throttle or the pitch all the way forward. So once in a while, it will lock onto something and it will kind of bob up and down, I think. That's what it is. Okay, turning around. Going the opposite way. Alright, so... It is working just fine though. However, it is a little bit slow. I would have preferred the speed number three to be a little bit faster than this. This is almost like a speed number one. So there I am. But for a beginner, this is great because you got total control and you are going slow. So you have lots of time to make adjustments. There you go. There I am. Checking out the iPad. Hey, it's working pretty damn good. Not bad at all. Alright, so let's check out the deputy camera. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up in altitude a little bit. And I'm going to let it hover right there. And I'm going to hit this button over here. But it is telling me I am recording, so it does not work. So I'm going to turn off the recording. And hit that button again, that little camera icon, and it will switch me to the deputy camera. Alright, so let me go forward a little bit. Okay, there I am. Somewhere around there. Let me go up in altitude. And that is the camera on the bottom of the quadcopter, as you can see. It's a deputy camera. It's the optical flow sensor camera. I'm going to go forward a little bit. I'm trying to get myself in the middle of the shot here. But it is not moving. Very slow in moving. There you go. There I am. And I'm going to let go. And the deputy camera. And let me go back to the forward facing camera. I'm kind of drifting away. Oh look, there is a picture in picture. So the small picture in picture is the deputy camera and the larger is the front facing camera. Hit it again and we have a side by side and hit it again. We have the forward facing camera. All right. And it has drifted away <laughs> too far and I have lost control of it. So this thing doesn't have a very long distance and it is slowly coming down and is landing itself all right so we have lost control of it and it has landed itself all right let me go ahead and retrieve it i think the motor shut off too so the optical flow sensor didn't quite work at that altitude so you can't go too high in altitude or the optical flow sensor will not work all right let's take it back to the table Alright, so brought it back to the table and I realized the lights are flashing about. So that landing was because it ran out of battery. So that is the flight time of the LH-X41F. 